the Daniel cell. Here, we physically separate the redox processes into two parts, the reduction part and the oxidation part. One side of the battery contains a copper electrode that is immersed in a copper sulfate solution. We call this electrode the cathode since it will accept electron charges. The other side of the battery is a zinc electrode immersed in zinc sulfate solution. We call this electrode the anode since it is the source of the electrons. Electrons will flow as a current from the zinc electrode to the copper electrode, and the current can be used to power a device. Since one side has a greater affinity for electrons than the other, this generates an electromotive force, also known as an EMF or voltage, which is the tugging force felt by the electrons from one electrode to the other. In this example, we measure around 1.1 volts across the electrodes. The actual chemical reaction takes place as follows. A zinc atom in the anode will spontaneously release two electrons that will travel along the wire propelled by the electromotive force. The zinc atom will now become an ion with positive charge and it will disassociate from the electrode into the surrounding aqueous solution. On the cathode side, the two electrons will be attracted to one of the copper ions in the copper solution, resulting in the formation of a neutral copper atom that will attach to the copper cathode. However, this isn't the whole story, since this process would result in an excess of negative charge buildup at the cathode and an excess of positive charge buildup at the anode, and the process would stop. It is difficult to build up charges since they naturally want to neutralize each other. In order to sustain this process to continually deliver electrons in the form of a sustained current, we need a way for the ions in the two different solutions to redistribute themselves. This is accomplished by a salt bridge. The purpose of the salt bridge is to allow ions to move between the two solutions without allowing the main constituents, the zinc and copper ions, to pass through. For example, a salt bridge can be used that contains an ion mixture that doesn't have copper or zinc in it, like sodium nitrate. These ions would serve the purpose of distributing their charges to the solutions to balance the charges on each side of the cell. 